Stewie, could you please stop tossing and turning? It's hard enough to sleep in here without my memory foam pillow. Uh, don't tell me, don't tell me. Brian! Yep. Yeah. I can't go to sleep, Brian. I'm scared. Of what? Of death! Well, you're not alone. The world is full of people who can't accept death. And they've all got their own ideas of what happens when we die. Really? Like what? Tell me. Are any of them blindly reassuring? Look, it's late. We'll talk about it first thing tomorrow. Jeez, you know, I gotta say it's weird to see you so worked up about this. I mean, you're not afraid of anything. Even that monster in your closet. Ah, he's on his way out of here. Ever since he violated the section of his lease that doesn't allow subletters. What are you talking about? I don't have anyone else in here. Just tell him the truth, Ethan. Thank you for doing this, Brian. No problem, Stewie. Our first stop today is a Jewish synagogue. Wow, every brick in this place is named after someone. Yeah, they do that to honor their donors. So that side of the building was donated by someone named Get Out of Our Town? No, I, I think that was the work of some shaved-headed gentleman, but, but we're here to talk about Judaism. So where do they think they go when they die? Well, you should try asking the rabbi. Although I should warn you, you might not get an answer. So where do Jewish people think they go when they die? Where do you think we go? Well, I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. Why do you think you're asking all these questions? I, I, just, I just really want to know what happens. Do you think that's part of God's infinite plan? I think your whole religion is a sham just so you can get extra holidays off from work. Oh, gotta go. It's Buchwoch. I say, this is quite impressive. Buddhism is an Asian religion that also has a significant following of annoying white people. Okay. See, these guys believe that after you die, you're reincarnated and you come back as a pig or a cow or a rooster. Okay, okay, that's good. I already know what noises to make if I'm one of those. But they also don't believe in demonstrating emotions either way, so they're the worst people to buy birthday gifts for. I know you've been having trouble getting around, so I bought you a new Lexus. And I got you this tie clip. Thank you both. These are equal to me. Screw you! You don't even own a tie! Now, the Catholics believe that as long as you accept Jesus before you die, anyone can get into heaven. Really? Anyone? I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Yes! Hey, what are you still doing awake? Changing the oil in my car. What the hell do you think I'm doing? Sorry, I stole that from the Italian family next door. They've been going at it all night. Dad, can I have $5 for lunch tomorrow? Yeah, sure. Just let me go check my room full of gold and jewels. You see, every first thing he says is not the real thing. Anyway, Brian, I'm trying to figure out death. Look, it's not that complicated, Stewie. Well, which of these religions has the right answer? What, what about you, Brian? What do you believe happens when you die? Nothing. Lights out. That's it. Well, that's not comforting at all. Well, I just think it's pretty clear that we're all just bags of bones and flesh that eventually break down and decay into worm food. We come from nothing, and we're going to become nothing. The end. Night, Stewie. Lights out. Did you hear him, Rupert? Life is just a big joke. It's just sitting around waiting to die. Well, I can't live like that. I'd rather just end it. I'm going to take my own life. But first, I'm going to play ball in the house. <gasps> Parents are right! All right, Rupert, here we go. Well, I'm not dead, but I do have a boner. So that is something new about Stewie. Okay, death by cop. Hey, copper, come get me! Oh no, an armed assailant. I definitely don't want to die today. I have so much to live for. Oh, come on, shoot me! But one day I don't wear my bulletproof vest. What are you waiting for? I'm wide open. Don't you hate how the heart is right about here? Just kiss your fruitcakes. All right, Rupert. The old toaster in the tub never fails. <laughs> oh, damn. I wanted to die, not turn into toaster man. I don't know about this toaster man. While he's getting all the glory, John Q. Taxpayer is left to clean up the crumbs. <gasps> My breakfast bread just got perfectly browned. I just wish I could thank him. Oh, I think he knows, Pop. I think he knows. <laughs>